hello guys good morning first of all thank you so much for joining this webinar and investing your time to appreciate our efforts at on pin shop our basic goal is to help our clients to achieve their online objectives and be part of the success so we keep working on improving our solution so you can use in most effective way mm. now let's say how this webinar will help you so as I said at on pin shop we keep thinking about our customers growth and making their day-to-day -day operations easy our today's topic is similar to that which is hot folder settings which allows admin to move their orders to their existing workflow or production server so you no need to do this manual activity again and again so let us mo move to our today's topic which we are going to be di discuss uh, during this webinar and which includes option to set up the hot folders then after benefits of hot folder integration and API web services so let's move to hot folder settings like how we can set them and what are the different different options available to that very first one is export orders export your orders into CSV or XML format from this particular format uh, feature the second one is server folder we can say same uh, copy uh, on a folder copy will be the second one is server folder so there will be a folder created on the same server where your website is hosted so this will be very much useful for the license customer but for the SaaS customer you this is not that much important because your website is hosted with our server and you cannot do that for now but the third one is really important for you where we can set remote FTP folder like you know you can just manually transfer your uh, data from admin panel to a specific FTP folder or this can be also done automatic as well so that is a separate process for that which I will tell you and the fourth one is uh, for the printer wise FTP uh, you know remote FTP so at that point of time what you can do like you know printers who are printing on your behalf can receive this particular uh, data files uh, to the according to the products they uh, you have assigned to them so that can be also done now let me just tell you like how this particular thing work on your admin panel so let us move to your admin panel uh, when you go for admin panel order section export or API settings here so first of all you can download your or we can say export your orders into CSV or XML format so you can just select the order range date range that means let's say you want to uh, down export all the orders belongs to this particular month and order status export them so this particular CSV has been downloaded with all the data just like this now we can you can just use this data according to your need and you know you can just have it for your references now we can define like what exactly you can download as well let's say the CSV has been downloaded but let's say there are some information which are very much important or there will be some information which is not that much impo important so you can just have those settings from here from export API settings you can have this particular thing like single uh, file for all orders after we uh, export file name as well and format and what data you want to capture from order information let's say you want to keep uh, capture shipping information if yes then you can just put down like what exactly you want to download into XML let's say no then we can keep it as it is we can go for the product info and here we can define like what is important for you and which is you know really need for you to download into CSV file so you can define that from here so one thing is done now you know you can define it and we can just sort them as well like when you just move from here to there we can just sort them into a proper format as well and once this is done you can just save it and that's it this export settings has been done and when you just move for export orders 
it will be working properly and the file will be downloaded in the same format which you have selected now once this export is done we can move for the second tab which is called hot folder settings once we just you know uh, enable this particular uh, hot folder settings there will be three options for hot folder location like we can set the location as well very first one is server folder you just need same folder where your website has been you know uh, hosted so you can just put down your folder name and that's it everything will be done by system itself the second one is remote FTP folder like you can just move your order details and printed files to proper FTP folder and you can provide the FTP details at here like a remote host and the username password and all the stuff you can put down here and you can just put down the folder structure as well like how you want to have those files like CSV and printed files in the same folder into a separate folder otherwise format you know otherwise folders should be created so you can set all this information from here once this particular thing is done you can just save it and move back to export order section so now there is one more button over here which is called manual transfer once you click on that manual transfer all the data of your or exiting orders will be displayed here okay so let's say you want to move this order number 538 536 and 535 to a particular you know, FTP so you can just move click on transfer and those data will be transferred from here so let me just quickly check this uh, FTP as well like we did we receive the data or not so when I just move to that FTP let me just uh, so let me just put down the FTP URL at here and uh, if I can get here the order is there orders and all the data has been moved so I can directly download that file from here as well so all the data file which you have said are displaying here so same way we can move the data to a particular FTP so that one is possible so that one is possible like that now let me just uh, go back again and our fourth topic is printer wise remote FTP that means when you are just uh, outsourcing your some of your work let's say you are just uh, printing you know you are not in a printing business you are not doing the printing but you are just a print broker and you are just uh, whenever you receive orders you are just transferring your orders to a particular printer okay so at that point of time if you want to move your files to a particular remote FTP server then you can just do it from here like you can set printer wise remote FTP and folder structure and save once this particular thing is done and when you just move to your printer section from business partner let me just move to uh, printer sections uh, printer and at this stage you can define the different different FTP for different different printers as well just like this let me just go for edit section and while you are adding a new uh, op just a minute I think we didn't set it up properly remote wise FTP and save so once I just saved it and refresh this one so I will have the option to add the FTP details as well so at this stage I will just properly add the FTP details of that particular printer so this can be also done so your printer can also receive the files properly into a perfect folder now let me just move to the next topic or we can say next slide which is benefits of workflow automation and hot folder integration so it removes the manual process of downloading and sorting orders from storefront and putting them into workflow so that manual process is completely removed so we can just you know with one particular click you can just download or we can say just uh, you can up, uh, move your orders to a particular FTP the second one 
is let's say it reduce the human effort errors like you know when it, the, no human uh, you know uh, is required uh, into the entire process to move your orders from here to there so it, re it re reduce the human errors and uh, increase efficiency and improves turnaround time and overall productivity the third one is the hot folder integration does not make any changes to your existing workflow like whenever you have a particular production workflow this particular hot folder integration does not change into does not make any change in that particular thing and the last one is let's say 24 by 7 workflow aut automation possible like uh, when there is no manual process is required this can be a very much uh, big time achievement for you as well so 24 by 7 workflow automation is possible through hot folder integration now let's move for the next one which is web service api so through this web service api you can just you know just move uh, retrieve your customers and order details from your existing uh, you know uh, add orders to your uh, crm as well so you can just move whenever we are just uh, you want to just uh, move uh, you know receiving this or different different orders and you are just ma doing that entry manually for your we can say uh, clients when you are doing this manually entry for your uh, you know CRM and all like you need to update those uh, orders manually or we can say the status manually so this can be very much imp uh, helpful to you to update your order status automatically so so through this api repetitive based data entry will be reduced and a lot of time can be also saved so yep that's it from my side bye bye